Hello again, here we will use OpenPy Excel to create any third data into an Excel file. This data will come from IMDB website. This website is about movies. Then we will add a filter so we can sort the records, a formula and finally a chart, a horizontal bar chart. The first thing that we need to do is install OpenPy Excel. In a PowerShell terminal we type pip install OpenPy Excel. Hit enter. Successfully installed. Now we can close the terminal. As you can see, I already have here some code. This code will get some information that we will insert into our Excel file. Let me explain this. I'm getting the filmography of John Travolta and this function is using imdbpy. To know more, watch the video about this topic. Okay, I will leave a link in the description for these. And let's go down. I am returning a movie list where we have dictionaries with the ID of the movie in IMDB, the title of the movie, the kind of the movie, if it is just a movie or a movie from TV, and the year of that movie. Okay, let me go up and collapse these and of course we have here already the file name Travolta Filmography xlsx okay let's start the first step is we need to import workbook from openpy excel and for that we do from openpy excel we want to import workbook okay something that is very important here this b is in lowercase okay i'm just saying because i fall in the same error of making these uppercase and it didn't work well okay after this let me go a little down and we want to create a Excel file. To do that, we declare workbook that is equals to workbook. Then we just need to workbook.save and we pass the file name of our final file. Okay, let me put this line of code at the end of all the exercises. Okay, here at the end because I don't want to repeat this again and again and again. Let's go here. We created the Excel file and and now we want to insert our data. To do that, we need to select a sheet in our workbook. Our sheet is equals to workbook.active. It will return the active sheet of this workbook. Also, we want to set a title to this sheet. So, we type sheet.title is equals to movies, in this case. Next step before inserting our data is creating the names of the columns. For that, sheet at b1 equals to id. For c1 it will be the title, for d1 it will be the kind, and for e1 it will be the year. Now we can start inserting the movies one by one in our Excel. For that, we need two things. We need to iterate movies one by one. We need to do a for each movie in movies. And also we need to have the notion of the index where we should insert movie the number of the row okay for that we need a for each index and movie in enumerate of movies we will insert the data also a very important thing here is the first line of our excel already have the columns the name of the columns okay we need instead of starting at index one at row number one we will start at row number two and for that we need to provide a second parameter to enumerate function that is start at 2 start at row number 2 now we can start inserting the values in the rows and columns of our Excel. To do that, we can do in this way, in this fashion, but I will show you another way to do the same thing. It is not very cool, like this one, but you don't need to build this address, okay, the name of the cell. We just need to provide the number of the row and the number of the column. 
For that, let's declare a C that is equals to sheet dot cell where the row is equals to the index and also the column is equals to number two, the B. Okay, we are inserting the ID and the B is the column number two. Then we just need to type C dot value is equals to movie ID. Okay, for the other values I will do in this fashion because as you can see we will write much lesser but the inconvenient of this is that we need to build this address. Okay, to insert the value of the title we need to concat character C and the number of the index. The index is an integer so we need to convert integer into a string. We declare first i is equals to the string of the index. Okay, then we just need to assign at C plus i the value of movie title, assign to D plus i the movie kind and finally assign to E plus i the movie year. With this we are ready to run our code and remember, remember that in the end of this we already are saving the file, ok? So we don't need to save it again. Let me expand this and open the terminal. Let me put this bigger and we type pi rwxl.py. This is the name of the file where is our script and hit enter. As you can see a new file was created and if we go to the folder we have here a new excel file. We open this and this is the result we have here. The column ID, the column title, the column kind and the year. Now let's add a filter to our Excel file. Let's do a different thing. I just commented the previous code, ok? It's all commented. So the file already exists and we need to load a function that is called load underscore workbook. From OpenPy Excel we want to import the function load underscore workbook. Then we just need to declare workbook is equals to load underscore workbook from file name, the path and the name of our Excel file. Then we need to load the sheet. Sheet is equals to workbook and we can choose workbook.active to get the active sheet or we can get the sheet by its name. So workbook movies. We are getting the one that have the name movies. Then we type sheet dot auto underscore filter dot ref. It is equals to b1 true e79. Why these values? The data starts at b1 this corner and it will end at it will end at e79. Okay, this is the meaning of the values that I just typed. We are ready to run the code. So we open the terminal and pi rwxl enter. We go again to our file and and open again. As you can see we have now here filters. Ok, we can filter the year for ascending order so our data is sorted and also we can sort by kind, by title and by ID. Now let's add a formula and let's say that we want to set column F the value of title length. In every row we will have in the column F the length of the title of that movie. For each I in the range starting at row number 2 to the row 79 plus 1 range is exclusive at the end we want to do something like sheet F2 is equals to the string equals then C2, ok? For every row, from row 2 to the row 79. We just need to do this, ok? Don't get scared, this is a string format, ok? And with this we can use the variables like this, ok? We don't need to do ugly concatenations. Before running this let's add some style to this cell. So we need to import the font and colors from openpyxl.styles and then we can declare a font with the color red and the size 20 and set the font style to f1.font. Okay, 
Also, we want to align at the center, so we need to import alignment from OpenPyExcel.Styles and we create an object alignment, horizontal center, and we set to the cell F1 alignment equals to center. Okay, this will set the font size 20 and the color red, and this will center the text. We save this, we open the terminal, and we run run this again and this is the result okay let me expand this so we have here title length in red okay and font size is bigger and we have here the values of the length of each title okay now let's add a chart to our excel for that we need to import bar chart and also reference from openpyexcel.chart then we declare chart is equals to bar chart we say that type is bar for horizontal chart and now we need to add a reference to the data that we want in the chart data is equals to reference worksheet equals to sheet we say that min column is 6 min row is equals to 2 max column is equals to 6 again because we are selecting the column F where we have the title length the max row will be 79 like I said before I am selecting here the column F where we have the title length okay then I am selecting the records that I want in the chart it will start at number 2 because our data starts at row number 2 and the 79 is where is the last record of our data visually is here in the title end we are selecting these values okay after this we need to add the data to our chart so chart dot add underscore data and we provide the data then we need to add the chart to our sheet to our excel okay so we type sheet dot add underscore chart as you may guess we provide the chart and also we need to provide a location it should insert starting at cell age 2 and now we are ready to run this we open the terminal run the program again it finished running we can go to the folder open the file again and see the final excel and this is it we have here our horizontal chart. This is the end. You can download the source code and see other links, useful links, in the description of this video. Also, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share with friends, and as always, thank you for watching.